Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you find that this reading resonates for you, I would love for you to subscribe and join my community here on YouTube. Also, I would love for you to comment below and let me know because I always want to know who I'm reading for. Today is, I was just getting started and already I got some cards. I wanted to ask what is the highest message that you need to know today? What is the most important thing for you today? So whenever this reading is finding you, it is for you if it resonates for you, no matter what the time. So let's just get started, okay? So I feel like somebody, oop, somebody here is not receiving equal reciprocity in a relationship and they are just kind of at the end of their rope. I feel like this person is wanting something, you know, something specific and it may be just the basics, you know, the basics of equal effort. Maybe you have always, always put in all the effort in relationships or in at least in this one we're talking about. If this is resonating for you, I feel like you have carried the relationship you're always the one putting forth the effort. You're feeling like you're the one that does everything for everybody. Maybe you are always taking care of everybody in this relationship and maybe everywhere else in your life. You're the one that's always pouring out your heart and taking every care of everybody and leaving yourself empty. I, re I feel like you are receiving empty cups no matter who we're talking about here. This could be a romantic relationship. This could be in other relationships in your life. I feel like this is something of a pattern for you. And you're ready to receive back for the effort that you've been putting in. You're, you're ready. You know, you're probably very empathic. You're probably very sensitive. And you're probably, you know, one with a big giant heart that just loves to take care of everybody and make sure that everybody around you is happy, is fed, is taken care of, is, you know, uh, healed, <laughs> like all of it, like you, you take care of it, all of it. Maybe you're a mom, maybe you're a dad, and maybe you've got kids and you make sure everybody else is happy before you make sure that you are happy. But the problem with that is that you leave yourself empty and you're not getting refilled. You're not, you're not happy. You're not being given anything in return for all your effort. This could even be in a job situation too where you feel like you're not being paid what you're worth and you're doing a lot. Maybe you're doing a lot for different positions and you're not even getting paid what you're worth for your own position. But I see that things are changing. There's something new here that wants to come in for you because you deserve it. You know, things are changing. You're you're coming into a place of equal reciprocity. Now, first of all, this this has to start with you. You know, it has to start with you setting boundaries and not overextending yourself and, you know, only inviting situations in your life that are equal reciprocity. This is, is you putting up a boundary that says, I'm not going to overgive anymore. I'm not going to take care of everybody else. I'm going to take care of myself. You know, if you have kids, don't get me wrong. Of course, you have to take care of your kids. But in relationships like partnerships, like business, like any other relationship besides your children, okay? You are setting a boundary that says, I deserve equal reciprocity. I deserve back for what the effort that I'm putting in. I deserve to have an equal partnership here. If I'm gonna put in the effort, I, just, I expect effort put in back. I expect my cup to be full. And it starts with you, like I said, you need to give yourself that love. You need to put yourself first, your needs first, your boundaries, protecting your energy, setting good, solid, healthy boundaries that says that you will no longer participate in unbalanced situations. There, This is all about balance, okay? And this person is done with what they've been putting up with, what they've been accepting in their life. And it starts with you. If you're that person, it starts with you to make the decision to accept equal reciprocity, to accept balance, and then putting up that energy, that that boundary that says this is this is what it this is how it is. I'm putting my needs first here. I'm taking care of myself. I'm giving myself self-love and self-care. And when you show yourself that love and that value, others will reciprocate that love and that value. And then also you don't 
put up with that anymore. You don't receive that from others anymore because you put up a boundary that says that you deserve better. Therefore, the universe comes in and gives you better. Empress, that's what the Empress does. The Empress sets up good boundaries. The Empress, she doesn't chase, she attracts. Sometimes the energy of overgiving is we chase, you know, especially if you come from a background of being neglected or a background of some kind of um, neglect, codependency, abandonment, that kind of thing. It, you tend to, when you have that sort of a background, it's like this wound in you, in you. And you operate out of that wound and you pour out too much. You know, you pour out for everybody else and you forget yourself because there's some sort of unworthiness thing there. But when you work on that unworthiness wound and you bring your value up and you bring your self-worth up, then what happens is you get equal reciprocity. You, ha you invite in new connections that give you back what you deserve. You invite new job opportunities that give you back what you deserve, that give you back for the effort that you pay that you put in, I mean, and that you, you accept, you accept those offers that pay you what you're worth and not less. You know, you tend to put up with a lot less when you have a self-worth wound. So if that resonates with you, work on that self-worth wound and let's go ahead and see what the spread says about this for you. Cause there's a change here. There's a change here. There's balance coming in. There's equal reciprocity coming in. This is a gift from the universe. So you may have a promotion coming in. You may you may be leaving a relationship and your next relationship is going to be uh, balanced. You may be leaving a relationship and taking time to really pour into yourself. This is a single energy here. And this could be you just taking a break, taking an, an afternoon off self-care, going to the spa, taking a road trip, going out of town for a, a, the weekend, and just really paying attention to your needs and giving yourself what you need. Listening to your needs, taking care of your needs, but also deciding those boundaries that need to go up and how to uh, go from here, where to go from here in, in inviting balance, inviting equal reciprocity, listening to yourself and what your heart wants for the, the relationships and the situations around you that may not be giving you what you deserve. I feel like you are in your head about this a little bit because I do have some cards here that say that you are in your head about this a little bit. I have the two of swords and the eight of swords is in the middle this this is in the heart of your spread so I feel like you've been dealing with this for a while you've been going back and forth maybe your intuition is telling you it's time to leave a situation it's time to leave a situation and it's time to focus on you and it's time to focus on building your self-worth but you're feeling stuck you're feeling like you could be deep in the throes of a codependent relationship and you're feeling like you can't maybe get anything better Maybe this person is the person that we were talking about yesterday. So if, the, if this is resonating for you as a codependent relationship, maybe with somebody who's controlling or narcissistic, you might want to check out the reading that I did yesterday. That could be for you. Um, I think it, the title said something about a toxic person. Walking away from a toxic person. October 18th is when it was posted, okay? So I see that you're in your head. I see that you could be overthinking this whole thing, which means you may be receiving intuition that says it's time to walk away. It's time to set boundaries. It's time to focus on you. It's time to put your foot down. It's time to put up, you know, boundaries and take care of you. But then the codependent side of you, maybe, if there is a wound that hasn't been healed in you, is saying, no, but I can't do that because they'll get mad. Or, no, I can't leave because I feel stuck. And what if I can never have anything better? What if, what if things don't work out for me? You know, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. The thing with this card is, it's in the heart of your spread. So it's like it's overtaking you. This is a lot of swords. This is a lot of overthinking. This is a lot of, of, of being stressed. 
and going back and forth and unable to make a choice or a decision what what spirit is saying here is that you need to focus on you making a choice to follow what you need truly what you need and these two are both blindfolded and so it's like you're going back and forth and you're unable to make this choice because you feel like you're stuck but the thing about this card is it's an illusion if you look at her she's looking in the mirror and she's seeing herself stuck but she's really not and she's also not blindfolded so spirit is saying listen to your intuition you are receiving inspiration you are receiving guidance you are receiving clarity on this on on this whole situation and it is time to put you first it is time to untangle from all of this and put you first because you've come to a place where you just can't do it anymore and you're feeling it and it's stressing you out and that stress can cause health issues and you don't deserve that you don't deserve that so you do have some sort of a breakthrough situation here and you know the ace of swords this is a breakthrough energy this is the light coming on where you were confused where there was darkness this is inspiration coming in this is either you know a message in, from your intuition or a message from the outside coming in to let you know you know some sort of clarity some sort of breakthrough some sort of new new beginning for you it's a it's a gift from the universe because it's an ace they all are gifts of the universe but also a brand new start this is your path forward this is the answers that you need the clarity that you need the breakthrough that you need so I do see that somebody here is having some sort of a breakthrough now this could like I said this could be you just realizing your worth with this Queen of Pentacles and making a decision to leave a situation and take care of you that could be your breakthrough this could be a, uh, this Ace of Swords could be a breakthrough coming in as a message from somewhere, somebody else that gives you the clarity that you need to do what you need to do. Or this is a message, maybe you're going for a new job because you are tired of not being recognized for the work that you do, not being paid for the effort that you put in, and maybe you got the job. This is some sort of message coming in that, that is a breakthrough for you that breaks through all of this thoughts and the overthinking and the can't make a decision and that kind of thing. So depending on how this resonates for you, it can come in different ways. It can come from somebody, it can come from your intuition, and it can come from your own self. You know, making, <clears throat> making that clear decision to go in a different direction and then doing it. You know what I mean? And the queen of pentacles here, she talks about your self-worth really putting yourself first and your needs first putting yourself on the throne instead of everybody else on the throne now it's time for you to put yourself on the throne and focus on you and this creates a whole new world for you this creates new passion and zest for life it puts you in this place of power and adventure and excitement it also opens new doors for you and there's doors of love here there's doors of love, but there's also doors of success with this queen. There's new doors coming for you. There's new doors opening. There's new opportunities. There's this new passion for life. It's going to re-spark your passion for life. Following your heart to put your needs first and yourself first. Really embracing this hermit energy of going within, taking some time off of whatever this is. And like I said, this could mean taking a break. This could mean walking away. Walking away from a connection, being single again. This could mean just taking an, an afternoon off or going um, for a walk even. Just to sit in the quiet and listen to your heart and what you need to do. And how to put up boundaries. When you discover what your heart is saying, you put up boundaries and you stand firm on those boundaries and you let go of anything from the past that holds you back from those boundaries or from moving forward in any way this is fear this is that wound that self-worth wound that codependency we're letting all of that go so that we can invite change that we can invite change that will 
light your fire again. You deserve to have your fire lit. You deserve to be happy and excited about life. You deserve to be happy and excited about the connections in your life and, the, and even your work. You deserve to be like her. She's excited. She's excited about life. She's excited about this new adventure she's going on. There's a new adventure here for you. If you choose to step into it, it's going to show up suddenly. I've got the tower here. You know, the tower is coming out in a lot of readings right now. And we have that eclipse energy that's happening right now. The tower is big. There's lots of transformation. There's lots of changes. There's big changes. There's, you know, lots of uh, unexpected energy coming through lately with the eclipses. And so it's not a surprise to me that the tower is here. But I feel like this is either a sudden way forward for you. This is a sudden message coming in that is going to open the door for you, give you strength, give you courage, give you direction so that you can move on. I've also got a like-minded like-minded group here. Maybe you you've manifested new friends. Maybe you are joining some sort of a like-minded group in, you know, things that you like to do. And maybe you never did that before, but it's like with this energy here, I do feel like it's unexpected actually. So this could be a new relationship coming in that is like-minded, like I said like-minded with you, wants to build the same thing, has the same goals, has the same integrity, the same morals, the same values, also wants to work together as a team. This is teamwork. This is somebody who wants to work together with you, not unequal, you know, not you putting in all the work and receiving nothing while this person receives everything from you. This energy is energy that is teamwork. This is we are both on the same page and we're both wanting and building the same thing. Now this can be in a job situation too where maybe you get some sort of a message where you've got this new job or you're going in this new direction where you're gonna find equal reciprocity. You're gonna find people who want to work with you, not against you. I love this energy here, but it's also, it's coming in because you are stepping into your, your power, your authority over your own life. You're putting your needs first. You are making the decision to set healthy boundaries and you're taking care of you. And it builds, the more you do that, the more confidence you build, the more ex, uh, self worth you build and your self-expression and your your values you raise your value you raise your confidence you raise your self-esteem you raise your self-worth and it puts you in a place of power it also makes you very attractive and so that attraction magnetizes in these new beginnings and opportunities for you I've got the high priestess really listening to your intuition. In the beginning, I told you there's somebody here who is probably receiving intuitive messages about this situation, but you are also fighting against it because you're scared. And that has put you in this place of, you know, overthinking and unable to make a decision. Your intuition is telling you what you need to do. But that wound on the inside of you that is like the overgiver wound, it's a self-worth thing you don't feel like you're worthy. So you give and you give and you give, but then you leave yourself empty. These are empty cups and this person is over it. This person is very unhappy, very unfulfilled, and you deserve to be fulfilled. You deserve to have your cups full. You deserve to have all eyes on you, people wanting to give to you, People wanting to pour into what you do and what you give. People wanting to give back for what you do. And your intuition has been telling you this. But until you let go of those wounds and everything that's not serving you that come from those wounds, habits, thinking, you're not going to be able to receive this. 
universe is saying it's time for you to let go so that and listen listen to your intuition because your intuition is probably telling you pretty loud and clear it's time for you to find that light on the inside of you and listen to what it has to say it's time for you to put that on the throne and it's time for you to honor what it says it's time for you to be honored for everything that you do, like this queen right here. No more waiting. The light, the light is coming on. You are getting, you're getting that that change of perception. Your that light is coming on. Your your light is coming on. You're going to make the decision to follow through for what is best for you. I very much feel that. You're going to make the decision. You're going to come out of this, this energy of being stuck and unable to make this decision because your light is coming on. And you were brought to this reading to hear this because this is part of it. It's time for you to move on. You're coming into your power. You're coming into your strength. I've got the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords is the Boundary Queen. She's also the Truth Queen. You're coming into your truth. You're coming into your strength to set your boundaries and honor them. And what is on the other side of you doing this? Let's see. What is on the other side of you coming into your power and walking away? Look at what we have here. We've got the sun. I also have the King of Swords. This is you. This is you finding a partner that is like-minded. Or this could be a job situation. This could be a new friend. You know, whatever it is, it's like you're coming out of this unbalanced situation to a balanced situation with like-minded people. Okay, but also the sun. The sun is the happiest card of the entire deck. The sun is your yes. The sun is your light coming on. The sun is your happiness. And it's also the energy of everything is turning out better than you thought. You were scared. You were scared to make a choice. You were scared to step out. And now the sun is saying on the other side of that fear is everything working out way better than you think. It's our fears that tell us, oh, you know, what if I do this and it doesn't work out? What if I don't ever receive love? What if I can't find anything better than this? No, that's illusion. That's fear. That's lies. It's lies. On the other side of it is your son. It's your son. You're going to be so happy and grateful that you made that choice, that you found your power and that you stepped into it and you got out of that situation you're coming into so much truth and so much light and so much happiness and so much gratitude and fulfillment. You're going to be saying thank you. This is the energy of somebody saying thank you. This is so much better than I thought. This is for you today. I would love to hear from you. Comment below and let me know who it is that I'm talking about, that I'm reading for, if you want to. If you would like to email me, that information is below. You can, you can email me if you'd rather. And because uh, I would love to know who I'm reading for. But also, if this resonates for you, I'd love to have you join my community here on YouTube. Also hit the like button on your way out. If you want a private reading with me, that information is below too. And I'll see you in the next reading. Stand in your power. Do what is best for you. It's your time.